Hey, how are you guys? How are you guys? How are you guys? So, um, I'm going live today. Um, just trying to go over a few things with this uh, coronavirus. I know a lot of people are really worried um, about their hair. So I did want to give a few things um, or some things of advice, you know, to move forward or to at least just to prolong your retightening a little bit. Um, because unfortunately, you know, it's nothing that no one can do if you are in a state or a place to where you are still able to do um, contact with people, then that's more than fine. But um, for people who are kind of like on the shutdown, um, what I'm thinking is just that hopefully if everybody did pretty much do a two week, you know, shutdown and everybody quit moving, uh, you know, and take it a little bit more serious than we will be able to move a little bit and we will be able to get contact and hopefully it won't be over like that two week span. Um, and hopefully most people still will be in their eight week period or at least only going over by two weeks. So some things that I would suggest is for one, uh, washing your hair, uh, washing your hair and then separating it. Um, I'm going to suggest this just because um, you don't want your hair to become really matted in or stuck together. Um, or anything like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you wash it well and you want to make sure that you pull them apart. Um, I'm going to suggest that you braid your hair down at this time as much as possible um, just to stop um, manipulations or pulling on it, tugging on it, um, just anything like that. Just kind of, you know, do some nice, secure little braids and kind of just leave it that way after you wash and separate the hair. Um, this is just so that you can relieve the tension on it and it's not necessarily pulling from being weighed down or, you know, not being grouped together. Because that's something that's common when you go over the amount of time that it's recommended for the retightening. Um, where usually or sometimes can it happen is some people experience um, breakage um, because it's not pulled together in a rotation to support the actual lock. Because when you lock, your lock matted hair don't go anywhere. So meaning you still shed. Every day you shed around the strands. But one thing about the locking process is that the hair doesn't go anywhere. So it retains inside the lock or remains inside the um, lock. Um, and what that does is that every single hair strand is not going to be connected to a hair follicle in your head. Okay. So that just means that most of the hairs will already be disconnected because it's going to go through a grow, a rest, and then a shed phase. That shedded hair is still going to be inside of that lock. So you do need those hairs to be pulled together or recommended or better for the, you know, lock or hairs if it's pulled together to support that weight evenly, okay? Instead of individual strands taking up the support of that whole entire lock. So that's why I don't recommend kind of just leaving it free a little bit. I mean, if you have something like this, I mean, that's not a big deal. But, you know, for some people that have a head full of hair, you definitely want to make sure or a hair full of locks. You definitely want to make sure that you put it down. And um, I have mine out a little bit, but I still braid it down just to kind of keep it out of the way um, a bit. So, you know, just kind of letting it breathe. Do let it breathe in between. So don't be the ones that kind of keep it up for 40 years and 40 nights. It do still need to come down. It do need to be washed. Um, and then you need to go ahead and braid that thing back on up, you know what I mean? And put it on up to secure it. Um, and also, too, as well, hey, be possible, everyone needs to be doing it. Yes, girl, everybody do need to do their part. I'm sorry. Thank you for the comment. Um, hey, beautiful. I agree. Everyone needs to do their part. Thank you, girl, because you is right. Um, everybody do have to do their part in this, um, you know, situation. Um, in order for it to be efficient, you know, because if everybody's doing it at different times, I don't think that it's going to be sufficient. But um, anywho, I'm just, you know, dropping my little, own, you know, I don't know, you know, I ain't got no degree in it. I'm just saying, you know, you know, common sense, one plus one equals this. But um, anyway, um, I do recommend you guys doing that. Please do not be lazy during this period, okay? If you have took the self retightening class or in the area to where you still can take the self retightening class from an R certified um, loctician, our practitioner, our consultant, make sure that you reach out and you could possibly even do your own recycling over this time. Um, you know, things to think about is getting it specifically shipped to the uh, client, the package or whatever. You know, I'm sorry, maybe putting it out a little bit too much, but just, you know, some suggestions. I don't know. Uh, we definitely will have to confirm that with home office to see if that's something viable. Um, because with that, a person doesn't have to be within six feet and you don't have to be touching them to necessarily do the class. Um, but those are just some suggestions, okay? 
But please do make sure that you keep your, your scalp clean during this time because that's another thing that can cause you to have hair loss. A lot of people don't know that, but you can have excessive dandruff to the point to where um, it creates a whole additional scab or layer of skin. Okay, and that's for my people who have psoriasis. So make sure that you're not in there scrubbing and scratching and trying to pull it out. You know, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you're just keeping, keeping up with great um, scalp hygiene. So make sure that you're up on your washings within enough time. Okay, you guys, uh, in enough time, up on your washings, up on your shampoos. You shouldn't be over a month without shampooing. Um, and I know this is going to be a little bit strange, but I still want to put it out there. But I noticed that a lot of people in foreign countries are wearing things like healthcare providers over their head. Um, you know, and they, they probably wash a little bit more frequently. So, you know, if you're in the healthcare field, do wash a little bit more frequently. Make sure that you go back to your braiding and banding if you're finding yourself need to wash more. Or if you're going outside and you just, as a precaution, want to wash your hair. Um, you know, definitely feel free um, to make sure that, you know, you know, you're washing a little bit more and you're braiding and banding just because you're going to be washing a little bit more. So when you do go back to your loctician, you still want it to be manageable. So just make sure that you go back to braiding and washing or braiding and banding if you're going to be washing a lot more frequently. Um, for my other people, um, I would suggest trying to come back a little bit on the washing just because you're not going to be able to get back in at enough time or you may go over a little bit. So I wouldn't say washing every day. OK, like don't try to overwash unless it's medically necessarily for you to decontaminate yourself. And that's how you do it. You know, the healthcare field, firefighters, EMTs, you know, I respect do what you got to do. Um, and we will have to deal with you when you come back. Um, we it, it's, it's people that go way over that amount of time of two weeks and we're able to put them in great standing. No, it's not something that we recommend. And if you have been one of the ones or clients who have been up on their retightness, then you don't have really anything to worry about because the integrity of your life should be in great condition. So just, you know, if you haven't just, you know, do those techniques, girl, try to do something to make sure if you like six months over, you know, you gonna have to do something, okay, to you know, make you last a little bit longer. But I do want to start talking about the health aspect because I understand that a lot of people are upset and probably, you know, mad that they can't really get their retightness in right now. But I do want to let y'all know, like, this is real life. Like, bruh, this is real life. The point of the journey is to understand that you will be beautiful within your own skin. So with that being stated is that, bro, we're going to fix you, okay? And yeah, I had to go extra right now. We're going to put you back together, okay? Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. He had a bad fall, but you know what? We was able to put him back together again. We will put you back together again. So in order for us to do that, we have to remain safe. And it's very unfortunate, but this part going out to my, you know, my people out here working in the industry in the field. You know, they did shut everybody down or, you know, in some counties, they did shut people down. OK, OK, see, some people are able to get in depending on what your city lockdowns is like right now. We have a, a six feet, you know, no nothing, no six feet, no nothing. And I'm not going to tell you no story like, OK, I went to the shop to go grab some stuff because, you know, like, bro, we ain't going to be in the shops. I got like, you know, I got a, a, a pack and a half of paper towels. I was like, you know, let me go get number three extra packs real quick. We're like, we're not going to use it right now. So, you know, yes. OK, yes, yes, yes. OK. So I went up there to go do that. Right. And it was so crazy because and I also went to go get some like some combs and stuff for my sons because I might as well do their hair too. But look, y'all, I ain't going to lie. Let me tell you, I went up there when I rolled by, bruh, I seen across the street, like I seen the, pol the police and on top of the police, I seen code enforcement and they was like going, like I'm looking in the rear view. I'm like, Greg Lee, like what's going on? So, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm looking, you know, seeing what's going on out here, seeing how many people are out. I'm checking the environment, you know, not on purpose. But I'm just saying while I'm going to go get this stuff or whatever and go, you know, to my emergency supplies, I had to go get that. It was emergency. But anywho. I'm just like, no, that like when I like looked over there, it was code enforcement and the police and they was knocking doors to go on the businesses. I was like, I'm happy I ain't play with them people because, bro, I just seen on the thing, somebody went to jail. And I know you like wet, wet, but yeah, a pastor went to jail 
for having like a meeting going on. Like you not a meeting, but you know, like a church function. But bro, they took him to jail. They had no they weren't even playing with the pastor. So I know I ain't nothing but a man, bro, they ain't gonna play with me. I'm going under the jail. Okay. So we closed down, we didn't even play with the people. Um, but anywho, I did see them doing it. So, you know, watch out. Tampa, Florida, y'all, Tampa, Florida. That's why I'm, I'm sorry, I did not put that out. Tampa, Florida, we in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, so I say they is not taking this uh, serious. Hillsborough County, though, okay? Because I know they was, like, going back and forth, and that's some of the stuff that I was confused on, and I let clients know, too, as well, that we kind of always confused on when we're supposed to be at home, when we can't, when we can't. Like, it was just confusing because, you know, the mayor pushing for one thing, the governor talking about one thing. You trying to keep up with all these different meetings. It's just crazy. Trump, one minute, want to do a quarantine. Next minute, he don't. He want to quarantine over here. He don't. So we was in like, I, I didn't know what was going on. I'm just keeping it 100. So just trying to make sure that we end cold because I ain't got time for no fines. Okay. I'm just keeping it real. Okay. I ain't trying to find. I ain't trying to do none of that. But also too, like I just want to say, besides from them going to shut people down, I agree with people not taking people because I'm just, bruh. I just want to keep it 100. And I'm not mad at my client. Shout out to my client. I love you. You know what I'm saying? We cool. No beef. But, bro, like, people still was traveling and people are still traveling. I mean, come on, they did count with a lot of stuff, you know. Before it really got crazy, we seen that, well, like, like, in the shop when we were talking, clients still was going on cruises. Like, you know, they like, shoot, the priority book that I'm going, like, straight up. So, I mean, I'm not tripping on nobody, but at the same time, though, like, bro, it's like a whole health emergency. People flying in from different parts, you know, crazy areas, you know, and at that point, you know, that put other people at risk because by me doing hair or just being a professional and you being a professional in the field and just even just human, like, just can about it. I ain't saying people don't, but still at the same time, like, just because one person health is A1 don't mean another person is. And sometimes we have to take personal ownership and even though it doesn't you know it may not pertain to you but for me it pertains to me because i'm in a business like we are in a business setting so people take it serious that we are not contaminating other people you know like at the end of the day like a person can sue you like you know like you putting a health at risk knowing that you was exposed so just being a responsible business owner a one or just a, a responsible human you know going to those type of places and, and being exposed even if it's just a slim chance, I doubt, you know what I'm saying? Any, but you just don't want to be that type of person that didn't think anything of it. And then look, you wind up being in a contaminated situation. So what now you done infected so many other people and put other people at risk all for a dollar. You know, it's not really that, it's not really that serious. So at the end of the day, again, as a health, you're not a healthcare person, but you know, I'm still in, you know, you know, in the health, not in the health field. But in our industry with licenses, it tells you like we when you take your Florida um hair braiders exam or hair um wrappers, this stuff generally just go over sanitation. You learn nothing about hair. You learn all about sanitation, you learn all about scalp diseases, uh communicable diseases. So with those things being stated, they don't want you to spread those things. Even as simple as a ringworm, they're you're not allowed to work in somebody's head. So it's just real important. My bad, y'all. My boo gonna walk through. I'm on like live. My bad, boo. I was like jump online, live real quick just to like you know update everybody a little bit. Um, we are not open right now. We can't be open. Yeah, we're not open. Um, we are buying by the rules. Somebody asked. Um, are we still open? But anyway, something as small as a ringworm, we're not able to work in somebody's head. So because it's something that we can pass on to different clients. So this is something that you can pass on to different clients. So you just got to make sure that you A1 on your sanitation. And for number two, if they give you uh, something from the CDC or say that you cannot be working, y'all, like, say he to it. You can't work within six feet. I mean, not be within six feet if somebody went in there here. So you know this is something that you may need to close, and you just have to be responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like, looking up on the news, knowing what time it is. For the people that don't have to close now, I'm always letting people know, like, keep up on what's going on. Um, read up, find out what you need to do to get the extra precautions in your facility or even working from your home because this is something that is coming like in direct contact with you and you and your kids, like you, you know, you and your family. You got to think about those things. Um, so just like jumping big on topic, I'm just letting y'all know, you know what I mean? Do what you need to do to just be A1 with yours. So at the end of the day, even if you don't have no licenses or nothing, just you know, stay in the house if they tell you to. And just if you don't did so well, high risk, stay in the house and still quarantine. 
just to, you know, just, just to be nice because you just never know. And I also want to touch base, too, because I know of a personal situation to where, you know, somebody inside this particular field was working and they were working from their home. And, you know, somebody came over and this person potentially had a fever. You know, they knew they had a fever. They may have had symptoms, you know, but they went and they got tested. And when they went and got tested, unfortunately, they still, you know, and I know the person is not angry with this person or anything, because at the end of the day, we understand that people may not take it as serious or is it's serious but it's just like we don't really you know some people don't really know you know and when it comes down to their hair i'm so sorry you know how some women is like you know how you is about your hair so don't ask funny okay we get a little crazy okay when it comes down to the hair and sometimes we don't think right but anyway this particular person still went to the person's home and she got her hair did and then the next day like she wound up getting a call and her results were positive and like now you don't put this whole person at risk and I know this person person so they in a house they kids in there you know they children that went to other people homes you know in the matter of spending the night or doing the overnight you know like you have put multiple people at risk and now you said positive and it's very unfortunate you know and that person was eventually about to do somebody's out there when she got that call so unfortunately she had to inform that client so again, y'all, y'all don't want to be in those type of situations. And I see somebody saying, like, I'm second guessing my appointment. But like, bruh, it is just only here. Like, we will be okay for two weeks, but like I we will be okay. But my other people, I think that y'all need to save up. If y'all orders is not to close down right now, get that money right, pay up your mortgages real quick, see what type of resources out there. But like, bruh, it is not worth our health. And like at the end of the day, you have to entrust that somebody else is doing the right thing. And look how this link is, even though this person, like this particular consultant, may have been in her home and not went anywhere. She had another client expose her to that. And unfortunately, now you may have exposed it to someone else. So like at this time, again, you trust in somebody else with your health. So when you go to these appointments, because even if somebody's coming to you, you don't really know where they've been at beforehand. Like I just really think, you know, and I, I love to make money like I do. And I know some of my clients will be mad, but like. We got to like chill out for right now, at least to see what's going on and let these people direct us, let them make sense of what's going on. Because when you got the, you know, healthcare telling you one thing and then you got, you know what I'm saying, like press conferences telling you another thing. But these people are not equipped. You go into people's house or you come into contact with people, they're not properly equipped. We don't all have N95 masks. Like, bro, like, bro, do what they say. They say stay at home. It is safe at home, stay at home. It's only going to be for two weeks that we all pull together and do what we need to do. Only two weeks, y'all. Two weeks, the most a month. I don't know some people are like, what? They should say a month. But yeah, bro, let's make it reality. The most a month, hopefully, if we could get this together now. But people ain't taking it for real. I'm going to keep it 100. Bro, I'm, I'm like, I be still seeing people. Like, people going to house parties. I be like scrolling online. I don't see nobody personally. I'm just saying, like, scrolling online. You see people like all like going out, like what is we doing? Y'all act like it's like bruh. We ain't gonna learn and somebody start dropping and they choose and then we're gonna be mad. And I'm not trying to put nobody in that position. Also, too, as well. Um, y'all, we don't know like if people don't travel, you don't know about whether they working, you know, in the hospitals, whether they're on a you know, float or where they're gonna have contact with folks. Like, bruh, like some of these healthcare providers not even more home to their own families in some of the states. So with that said, being said, even though I know people want to get their hair did, it's just like it's, it's, you don't know where people have been at, you know, point blank, period. So um, hopefully this gives y'all some enlightenment. I'm looking at, you know, another week or so. So y'all, y'all may get some, you know, cancellation text or whatever. But at the end of the day, I can't really risk anything. I can't have anybody at the shop. You know, and if they're telling me that we need to practice social distancing, I really don't feel comfortable. We're like, you know, going to anyone at this time and moment until we figure out like what's going on with these numbers and how our healthcare is gonna be prepared for this. I don't wanna put you at risk and to be honest, I don't wanna put my children at risk either. So hopefully that is something that's understood. Um, and again, hopefully this gave y'all some insight. I know I kind of talked on and on for about 20 minutes, but I just want y'all to be fully informed and you know, as far as much as possible. If y'all go on my page, y'all see that I share some of these 
things that I kind of see out here or whatever from like the news press releases and conferences and stuff just so that we can be on point you know so we can kind of plan and kind of see what this is going at um but we definitely gonna be safe no we are not open again be natural life is closed um right now we will get y'all back in listen we will be what the trap house if we got to go ahead it's gonna be, go ahead my bad hold on y'all Ooh, we'll need to walk back go ahead babe. But okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Just so rude, old lie. <laughs> okay, they don't pass by y'all. So I ain't want y'all to see all my gold. You know what I'm saying? But they was good. Nah, I'm just saying. Okay, but anywho, yes, I just want y'all to get the information so y'all can plan accordingly. Bruh, shut down if you got to. It ain't worth the money. Okay, not worth the money. Shut down. Okay, just chill out. Um, the money gonna be there when we get back. We gonna be on go. Believe that. Um, so what that means is that when they give us to go ahead, if we got to be on 24 hours, on like 24 hours, y'all may have to come in at strange hours to get everybody back in, but we gonna get everybody back in. Um, even if we need to take on some other people, if we got some other fit, fit consultants out there after this, like we willing to take on their clients too as well, put them in our in network, do what we got to do, pull together as a team. We got this, and don't worry, consultants. Y'all can get your clients back. Just call us, let us know in advance when we do open back up, and we got y'all back. Okay, um, let's stay strong. We're gonna get through this. And um, for the ones that's still open, that's allowed to be open, y'all clean, 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 clean door handles, clean the the the, the light switches, like Dr. C and home office actually sent out an email. So y'all check out email for suggestions of things to clean and sanitize. Um, door handles within there, um, light fixtures. I definitely would recommend that. Even having like sanitizers so everybody sanitizes when they come in. So anybody sitting down in chairs, spray them down. Okay, don't allow more than ten people in your establishment at a time. Even if people need to wait for their next appointment in their cars, um, this is just so that you can decontaminate your whole entire salon. Even get your cleaning lock that you're already supposed to have. Write down your name, put down what you sanitize initially. Um, just to so that you know after each client you have sanitized and you have decontaminated everything. Um, all right, y'all. I'm gonna leave y'all alone, I'm gonna let y'all do what y'all do. Um, if y'all got any questions, if y'all um want to know anything, definitely hit me back up via in the comments, or you can get me at anywhere online, Google us, be natural Locks. Check us out on Instagram. Y'all still post. Make sure y'all still be promoting y'all selves, even though y'all not working at this time. Get ready for some specials to come out. And uh, we may even do like pre-paid appointments for, um, you know, the client that need to get in ASAP when we open back up. Uh, it will be those ones on the VIP list, maybe first come, first serve within that list or whatever. Um, or people who prepaid their appointments or maybe like, you know, of course, schedule them. But, you know, again, whoever comes first will actually get to pick the spot. You know, and that's probably how we may need to run it to get the people in and out, and then we get our regular people in. I'm sorry, they showed y'all a little brush shot. <laughs> Check that. Um, but anyway, uh, y'all be safe at this time. Only go out if y'all need to. I'd have been going to the store if I needed to, but um, always with my mask on, I got my gloves on. People looking crazy. I don't care. I ain't got time. Okay, like more the sort. It's kind of weak. Okay, y'all know the flu almost took me. So I definitely, I definitely can't play with this virus, y'all. The flu had the under. I've been thinking if it wasn't for that um influenza swab test they gave me to my throat, I would have thought I had corona then. But okay, but I, I had the flu tested positive. But that thing almost killed me. So if that almost killed me, I know I'm not built for the corona. I ain't built for it, baby. I ain't built. I ain't built, baby. I'm gonna break down, <laughs> break all the way down. So yeah, because I had to go to the hospital for real. I had to go to the hospital. I had to go get some breathing treatments right for the flu. First time. <laughs> they didn't know. Can't put myself out there like that. And then plus y'all, who gonna do y'all hair? If if we gone, who gonna get y'all away? So y'all don't want nobody putting us at risk. Y'all don't want us to be at risk. Y'all want us to stay safe at home. Cause if we go down, we're going down for six weeks. That's on top of your two weeks. That's eight weeks, babe. That's eight weeks on top of it. Even if you came at four weeks, babe, you still in trouble. So keep us safe, okay? Keep your community safe. Yes, yes, y'all. I, yeah, I went under with the flu. And this wasn't too long ago, so that's another reason why I 
need to make sure that I stay in because I don't know if my immune system is all the way back up. Like it literally took me weeks to even get my breath back. So I I'm taking it for real because I know what time it is. And look at my hair, y'all. It's time for me a haircut. You don't think I want to be fly for my man while I walk around? I'm just letting you know, even if it is at the house, you know, I, I ain't got nothing. Drink nothing. Yeah, I bet. Look, I'm I'm ready. Okay, got my elderberry. I've been taking that every day, y'all. I've been um, but I I I was getting stopped up. I'm not even gonna lie. Some of y'all thought I was a conspiracy or whatever conspiracy. Listen, you know what I'm talking about. But y'all thought I was one of those. Like y'all thought I was just like, oh my gosh, she's a lost her mind. She keep watching all this stuff in China. But I said, no, ma'am. What I'm gonna do is get prepared early because I can't wait for the government to come and protect me. Oh, and I heard something else, and this off subject, but I still want to put it up in there because you know it's a little shade, a little shade. Yes. Okay. So, why they was mad that I had N95? Baby, listen. Quick, quick. Now I ain't hard, but eighty boxes. I seen one dude did that the feds when it picked him up, y'all. The feds homeboy thought he was gonna happen to at home so mm -mm. feds was at his door. I just picked up one phone, you know, me and the family. People was upset and mad. Girl, you what girl, yes, I know you need those magical hands. That's why I gotta say safe. Go ahead and sneak back through. Boy. I'm almost done. Go ahead. So yeah, they was like, you know, we shouldn't have no mad, bruh. Don't be mad at me because I stocked up early. I ain't stocked up like a water, but I I got what I needed. You know, I got me about three ten pound bags of rice, duh, just in case everybody gets sick. And I heard a cashier talking about, oh, that's just so dumb. People just stocking up bread. Everybody gets sick at the same time. Who gonna be at the grocery store? You got Amazon workers on strike. You got all these people saying what they not gonna do. We in the United States, we ain't in China. People is not gonna go to work like it's mandatory. You seen this nurse just quit, but she up and quit and quit on live. <laughs> the audacity! God forgive me. And I know sis, I know it was some back ends on that because I, I I heard the podcast that she was on and she was giving her backstory. But y'all gotta check out World Star because it was on World Star. And y'all probably can Google. So if I find it on YouTube, I'm gonna share it on the channel, y'all. But bruh, your girl was like, oh no, I quit. <laughs> I got kids. They protecting me. Bro, we in the United States. Ain't nobody got to go to work like that. And, and you see how they trying to get Trump to do this executive thing to what he making people go to work and do like, um, you know, manufacture just only this. Like it is by law. This is what they making. Oh, girl. Oh, my. Somebody said, go hold on. But let me hold, let me keep this organized. Let me start here, though. OK, real quick. And then I'm going to go up here, girl, because, girl, you got the news, girl, because you ain't telling no story. Mm -mm, no story. But anyway, like real quick, but like people is quitting. So if we're not over there in China and people is going to be quitting, and, bro, we're not going to have nobody at the grocery store. So you at the grocery store, yes, bro, you here. But when it get real out here in these trenches, is you really finna be coming to the grocery store with no mask, no gloves, that they not that they are not supplying you with? Is you really going to be doing that? No, especially if you're seeing people just, <laughs> no, baby, because if it was me, I don't quit for much less. God forgive me. But the Lord know I ain't lie. <laughs> the Lord know I ain't lie. Listen, y'all, I'm gonna say I was at a job, and when I was at the job, it went left. The manager went working, and I just was like, I was a lot of people there. I walked off. Baby, I said, mm -mm, I, You'll handle this. I walked off. Baby, so I know if it was my health, I know for sure I can't say whether I'm gonna be that bold. Like, I can't, I didn't, I know I'm not no focus for a reason, okay? I know, God forgive me, and I'm just. I'm sorry for telling you the truth, but it is. It's the truth. I do hair for a living. I specialize in that. Because I can't do all that I eat. That wasn't in my, my job description. I can't do it. But anyway, like, no. Anywho, I see, girl, what you're saying about people over here still eating. I, girl, they don't care. People don't care. They're going to keep on eating that. But it won't be me. It won't be me at all. I ain't eating that. I've been in the house. I've been in quarantine. Seeking one thing and two things for sure. For, for sure, you ain't got to sell me twice, okay? I'm in the house. I'm like Cindy. I'm in the house, but I don't care. I ain't slow, okay? I ain't slow. God forgive me for saying that, but it's the truth. Because some of y'all be looking at us like, no, we, no, nah, but I got it together. I'm in the house. I'm built in. I'm not going nowhere. I still, I advise y'all not to go nowhere. And when I say that, because people be like, oh, 
you know, lighter people, light skin people, y'all still can get it. Bruh, you dark, we all gonna get it. We Americans, we are human, the Chinese, everybody gonna get it, bro. So I ain't been listening to none of that dumbness. I just been in the house and following my instructions. So I did just want to throw that out there so y'all be safe. Again, I've been doing my elderberry. Okay, y'all. I've been drinking my seeds. I got all my cough medicine. So y'all make sure y'all get all your stuff. You have it stocked up so you don't really got to worry about going nowhere. But again, um, another thing too, like what if you get exposed? Like the, the, the person that I'm talking about, I like this person, bruh. Now you did not go to grocery shop because, you know, some people was like, ain't think this was for real or, you know, ain't think it really was going to affect them. So, like, bro, did not go grocery shopping. Like, you know, she probably went for like a week, but she ain't go for like two, three weeks. You feel me? Now you got to be in the house for like, you know, a month almost or two weeks, you know, probably more than that, like a month, to be honest. By this, you know, now, now, now what? Now, like, you know, now you got to be in a tough situation. Bro, I bro, I'm fur. I can't even listen. I have to put it on the curb for you. The fool on the curb. But anyway, all right, y'all. Y'all keep it easy, keep it safe. I just want to jump online, shoot the bobo with y'all, go over those few little couple of things and let y'all know like what it was kicking like, what it was hitting like, what was going on. Um, um, all right, y'all. I guess this pretty much that's that. Y'all be safe.